This meeting is being recorded. Hey everyone, welcome to um, Faith and Souls Tuesday Night Training. Tonight is going to be a little bit of a quick one, but um, ever so important because I do want to cover with you guys and help you guys out with how to come up with your own post uh, visually, authentically. Um, specifically, we're going to gear a little bit more towards and focus on just warmers and wax tonight. Um, obviously, there's a lot of other Scentsy products that we could do, but I feel like that where our team needs more focus on is specifically wax and warmers, just because I feel like, and sorry if I sound kind of weird because I have a cough drop in my mouth. My allergies are um, not the greatest right now because as most y'all know that on my team just got back from um, Vegas where all the casinos um they love to smoke in so that was fun but the consequence of that is allergies so here we are so I apologize for that but going back to what I was saying so obviously all of the other Scentsy products kind of sort of speak for themselves in a way for us to be able to find personal photos of them or if we decide to take our own and create content, post it, it speaks for itself, right? But I feel like when we're gearing more towards, for example, the incentive right now for wax and warmers, it can be a little bit more trivial, um, especially if I can speak on my behalf that um, I recently did close out the ring for myself, but it was not easy for me because even though wax and warmer speaks for itself, it really technically wasn't really where like my customer base is or was, I guess, over the last almost a year and a half now, but obviously with the incentive, you know, I knew that I needed to lock that in. And so I wanted to get a little bit more creative and how I'm sharing content and still being authentically me. So I did come up at the last minute, a little couple examples that I'm going to walk you through in a little bit on Canva. Um, if you have any questions as far as what we're going to go over, um, let me know afterwards if you're joining the live and um, with the live training tonight. Otherwise, um, I hope you guys get a little something out of this. Um, and again, I just kind of whipped it up at the last minute, but I feel like that it'll be um, good enough to be able to get the point across and then hopefully um, inspire you guys to come up with your own post. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm going to share my screen. Let's see. There we go. <clears throat> okay, and hopefully you guys can still hear me. So now I'm going to click over to where my Canva account is. And I felt this was going to be honestly the easiest way for me to show you guys um, what we're talking about tonight. All right, so the first thing that we're going to, well, I want to show you is May 20th is National Pick Strawberries Day. And I don't know about you guys, but I know we've kind of talked about this before in the past, but national days for me for each month really truly help me focus specifically on certain Scentsy products and pull the products out of the catalog to help our customers visually get an idea, you know, of what it is that we sell. But then you're also still making it personal, you know, in return. So I'm going to try not to zoom in too much. But as you can see, again, mark uh, this down because again, that's coming up this Friday. So May 20th is National Pick Strawberries Day. Let me see if I can get rid of this. So I don't need that right now. Yeah. So I just randomly went through and picked these, but you can pick your own. But if you go to your personal website and you type in the word strawberry, this is actually three of the bars that came up for me. So Summer Moonlight, Rainbow Sherbet, and Sugar Strawberry. That one kind of speaks for itself. But the other two that you see here, they actually do both have sugar strawberry in them. So this would be the ideal three pack that you can sell or six pack that you can sell to your customers based upon May 20th, National Pick Strawberries Day. The reason why we want to do this, you guys, is because we want to get a little bit more creative with our Scentsy products, right? Um, one thing that you could do to take it a step further, and I apologize because I thought I had it with me beside me, but I actually don't, is that if you have three um, reddish, pinkish wax bars on hand, it does not have to be these exact scents. All you have to do is just stack them on top of one another, turn them to the side, take a photo of them, 
If you're holding them, even better. That's a bonus feature, obviously, because your customers want to see your shining, smiling face, right? But if you're not in the photo, that's okay, because you can still take a photo of your three wax bars, post it, and say that the three fragrances is what's listed below, which is Summer Moonlight, Rainbow Sherbet, Sugared Strawberry, right? And this goes obviously perfectly with the theme. Now, obviously, you don't have to do these three bars. These are just the three that came up for me. And they don't have to be wax bars either. It can be any of the other Scentsy products that are going towards the incentive um, for you guys to be able to earn that for the spring and summer season. So there's these three bars here. Um, another thing that I just kind of threw in that I've created myself through Canva, and this is really specifically for those of y'all that do use Canva, because um, to me personally, this would more likely be the easiest way to do this is that I, as you can see here, featuring the Country Living Warmer. And so when I thought about picking strawberries, I thought about a barn. You know, I thought about growing up in the country. I thought about having land. And so when we're thinking about the themes, especially for the, the uh, direction that we're going in right now, which is the national um, holidays, like National Picking Strawberry Day, is that when you're hearing that, okay, you've picked your wax bars out, but how can you elevate your customer's purchase their order well the way that you can elevate that is not only either creating a six pack of wax let's just say you're marketing your three you can be like hey did you know if you order five bars you get one free there you go because you could easily just pick out six of these fragrances double up on the three pack that you see here and easily you already increase your sales to thirty dollars instead of the original 17 right when you're bundling However, if you were to turn this into a bundle, how much better would that be, right? Because then not only are you creating a bundle and you're helping your customer save a little money in the long run, but also you're increasing your sales, therefore bumping your way and getting a little bit closer to closing that ring for the incentive for the wax and warmers. And so I just had picked this one out, like I said, because I felt like it went really cute with the theme. Now, for me personally, something that I would do is I definitely want to post um, I wouldn't post an image that looks like this entirely. So normally what I would do instead is I would actually post this warmer as you see it here. And then above this, I would say something like, you know, um, yeah, it's Friday. Happy National Pick Strawberries Day. Um, you know, I don't know what I love more, strawberry or apple pie. These three cents remind me so much Um you know, of how much I love strawberries or picking strawberries out at Froberg's. So for those of y'all that are um, from my area, you know what Froberg's Farm is. So a lot of times, one of the popular things every year to do is pick the strawberries in the fields, right? And so it's something, a memory that I could share, something that I like to do. And again, you're pulling your customer in because you're giving them genuine content and you're making it authentic to yourself and you're bringing them in because you're not only telling a story, right? And you're making it more personal and you're connecting with your customer, but in return, you're sharing Sensi product with them and you're bringing that personal connection in with that professional development of product and then you're marrying them together. So then that way you're not being so spammy. So in other words, you're not saying happy, you know, happy National Pick Strawberry Day. Who wants to place an order, right? No one really wants to see that nor they do, what it, do they want to hear that, right? But if you post a photo like I have here, which is obviously me and a personal photo of me somewhere with some hay holding a warmer, it's going to create more of a story when I share a three pack and I describe these Scentsy fragrances and tie it in with this picture. Hopefully that makes sense. So that's the first example I want to show you guys. Um, the second example that I want to show y'all is actually, I believe, coming up, I want to say the week after. Sorry about that. Let's see. Let me go here. Um, let's do this one next. So this one actually is one of my personal favorites. I had a lot of fun um, creating this one with this warmer. And again, you don't necessarily have to use Canva. And I'm going to show you what you can do instead as soon as it loads. All right, so let's hide this so we don't need to see this. And I just wanted to show you guys this on camera because it was like the easiest thing for me to do instead of doing like a random uh, PowerPoint presentation. So as you can see here, um, this is actually May 27th. So if you can't read that, it says May 27th is National Road Trip Day. So I had actually created this um, 
I think like a month ago. So I've been waiting for the right time to use it. But as you can see, um, I chose the warmer to coincide again with the theme, which is National Road Trip Day. This warmer is currently available on our website. It's Love Your Journey. So let's just say you see this and you're like, you know what, Megan, I'm not really into Canva. This isn't my thing. It's going to take too long for me. That's okay. Because guess what? See this photo right here? Believe it or not, I got this from going straight to Facebook, going up to the search engine, typing in love your journey, Cincy warmer, saving a photo that I was drawn to. And here we are. <laughs> and I uploaded it. It's as simple as that. In fact, I'll show you guys in just a little bit on my uh, Facebook page right before we wrap up here, how easy it is to do this. So don't post a flyer photo, create something like this that's more personal, or if you wanna make it a little bit easier on yourself, save an image like this. This is an image that a Cincy consultant was nice enough to share on her page. And believe it or not, majority of the content that is shared picture-wise on Facebook or Instagram is kind of like a given that if someone puts it out there, they know that if it's not in a private group, that more than likely someone else is going to come along and save that photo and use it as their own. Now, let's just say that someone's personal family photo was right here behind the warmer. Obviously, I don't want to save that photo because that's not my personal photo, right? It's not my family. It's just kind of weird. But if you find a photo that looks like this, this you can actually save and create your own content to make it genuinely yours. What you do not want to do is take a screenshot of what someone else has posted, crop out their information, crop out their personal content and make it your own. Because as a matter of fact, you're not really truly making it your own because that person, that consultant took the time to um, go and create their content and be genuine and have their voice with their post. And that takes time, right? Because our time is valuable. And if I myself or someone else out there in Cincy land is creating a post and they put it out there and it's their stuff, we shouldn't as consultants in return, save it and then crop it and not give credit to the original person who created it. Right? So I would never want to, you know, take something like that and then say like, oh, look what I did, you know, this is my post and then not give credit to the original person. Now, what you can do, like I said earlier, see what I did here is I saved this consultant's photo, but when I create a post later this month on the 27th, it's not going to say what that consultant said. It's going to say what I want to say. Hopefully that makes sense. So again, I like to pull wax bars from our website to coincide and match up with a the theme. It's a lot of fun. Don't overthink it. I easily just go to my PWS. I go to the wax bars and I scroll through until I see a wax bar title. Um, even colors, by the way, colors can totally match up with national days. For example, um, we're about to cover in just a little bit uh, national, I think it's blueberry cheesecake day. So you could easily just choose purple bars or blue bars if you wanted to, simple as that. Otherwise, you can play off of wordplay, which is what I personally like to do. So as you can see here, National Road Trip Day. Again, I chose this super easy three pack of wax, Bonfire Beach, Coastal Sunset, Palm Trees, and Ocean Breeze. So, you know, three bars for 17 bucks. But here's the thing is that, again, when I post something like this, I could say something along the lines of, you know, who's here, you know, who here loves to take a road trip or, you know, who's been on a road trip before because you're wanting to genuinely connect with your customers, right? So you're wanting their feedback. You're wanting to ask them a question, but in return, you're feeding in again, that Sensi product, right? So then you could say something like, you know, um, happy national road trip day. Um, I can't wait for my next vacation you know, when was, you know, what was your favorite road trip that you went on, right? And then be like, I don't know about you, but I love um, going to the beach on my road trip. And then that's where you can incorporate the Bonfire Beach, the Coastal Sunset, Palm Trees and Ocean Breeze, right? So then that way, again, you're feeding that content into what you're talking about. You're developing a story. You're sharing personal emotions, personal connections with how you can relate to the product and to the theme, right? So then you're tying it all together. And again, you're not using flyers. You're creating personal content like this. You're sharing personal photos. Now, if you're lucky enough to have a warm on hand that coincides with the theme, 
same thing as the wax that I said earlier. Post a photo, stage it up, however you want to do it. Um, work smarter, not harder, by the way. If you have a warmer and you want to post it because it goes with the theme or what you want to share for the day, post it and, or I'm sorry, set the warmer up on a countertop. Set the warmer up on your, like we have a fire mantle. Don't overthink it by all means. Just take the product, make sure your lining looks decent, right? And then take the photo. Or like I said, I encourage you to take the photo um, of you holding the product because your customers want to see your face. But don't overthink it. Work smarter, not harder, right? So that's the second example. Um, the last example that I want to show you guys, let me see, is this one right here. So again, we talked about earlier how um, National Blueberry Cheesecake Day is coming up, and that is May 26th. So this actually, I just kind of wrestled up real quick. Um, I found some stuff. And again, all these photos that you're about to see, again, I found by searching on Facebook. I didn't go anywhere else, you guys. This was all on Facebook. And you just easily go to the search engine, search engine at the top of Facebook. For example, here I typed in blueberry cheesecake. And then that's how I found this photo here. And then I just typed in the extra word Cincy. And that's where these two photos popped up as well. So these are very different images, three very different images that you can use in your content um, for, what did I say, May 20, no, I'm just making things up. Oh, May 26th for National uh, Blue Blueberry Cheesecake Day. That's a mouthful, sorry. So for example, this photo I could easily post and save and put it into my stories. Um, I've gotten a lot of luck with blueberry cheesecake in the past because if you can see here, this is the visual effect, right? So then not only do I see the blueberry cheesecake and I'm thinking, okay, yum, this looks delicious, right? But then also I'm thinking, hmm, I wonder what blueberry cheesecake would smell like. Well, I visually can see blueberry cheesecake here and it's reminding me of the last time that I had it. And then if I'm a fan of it, I'm then going to remember in return how it smells, right? So then that's why it's going to be a trigger for the somebody to be like, oh my gosh, I need to have that warming in my house right now. So if you find somebody that likes blueberry cheesecake, again, you can promote a three pack of wax or you can encourage them to get that buy five, get one free. And then obviously you can easily pair it um, with any warmer. I know we've got a couple warmers that are like purple blue colors. So you can easily do that as well. Um, any of our like country style warmers too would go really well um, with this theme of wax bars. But I just wanted to again, show you guys content that you could do. You could easily see this photo here. Somebody posted this on Facebook. You could easily share a super simple, easy recipe, a blueberry cheesecake. And you can say again, you know, happy National Blueberry Cheesecake Day. Oh my gosh, I love blueberry cheesecake. Here's a recipe that I found. How easy is this? By the way, did you know since he has a blueberry cheesecake bar, grab three for 17 or buy five, get one free. Sometimes I don't obviously like every time post, you know, how much something's going to be price wise. I don't, I don't really ever at all put honestly my shopping link, but every now and then I will include a price because sometimes you never know. Like that's what could be pulling your customer in is seeing what a sweet deal it is for them to bundle three or the bundle the five and then get one free for 30 bucks. Um, and then last but not least, this is the other photo that again, I found on Facebook. Um, look how visually appealing this is, right? Like these are not flyers. Now, granted, this is close to being a flyer, but this is something that you would definitely want to put in your stories. And I wouldn't necessarily recommend posting something like this on your personal page. The reason why is because as you can see, this photo is very elongated and more than likely it's not going to show up as a whole if you were to post this on your personal page. Now, if you guys are on Team Faith and Soul, you know that there is an album that we specifically have on our team page that actually has photos just like this that basically says like stories only. So if you were to go to those images, you would see something that looks similar to this because it's elongated, it's not going left and right, it's up and down. And therefore, when it's taking up more space like this, it's specifically for your stories because it's going to show up as a whole on your phone screen, right? But if I'm scrolling through Facebook, I'm more than likely only going to see half of that, and then it's not going to be as visually appealing. So hopefully you guys got a little bit something out of creating like your individual content and being more genuine. Um, I did want to show you guys, let me get out of this real quick, because I'm going to go on Facebook real quick. And I do want to show y'all, let's see, I'm just going to type that in. 
how easy it is to find content like I just did within like barely 30 minutes, honestly, full transparency, creating um, the line that we went over today. So let's see. Um, uh, journey. Let's see, we'll type in journey, Cincy, warmer. Let's see what comes up. And sometimes what you need, like what you're searching for will come up really quick. And then other times, not so much. So there's the warmer, right? So there's love your journey. So you could just keep scrolling through and then until you find one that speaks to you and then just save it. So there's one right there. And then there's more, as you see on the left hand side, that's actually where I got mine from. So you guys, I mean, come on now. Like there are a lot of options no excuse, like look how pretty these are. No excuse to not use actual real life images, even if they're not your own. Just search through these photos. And then for me, like I'm on my computer, right? So then I would just right click it and then hover over where it says save image and then save it to my desktop. Same thing for my phone, you know, hover over the image and then save it to your camera roll. It's as super simple as that. Um, the last thing I want to show you guys is an example on my personal page. I actually just did this the other day. Let me go to my personal page. I want to say, I think I did this like a day or two ago. I think it was yesterday. Let's see. Okay. So as I've um, told y'all before, I don't personally like flyers per se, but every now and then um, I'll throw one in there just to mix it up a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. So as you can see here, um, this is what I posted yesterday. And yes, if we scroll down, you can see that there is a flyer, right? There's a flyer right there. But I create a content above it to again, draw my customer in. So as you can see here, I told a little bit of a story. It says today brings a fresh start because as most of y'all know, Mondays for me, I like to play on wordplay because Monday is a fresh start for the week. We get a clean slate. But then I also wanna say, a little bit of inspiration, right? So believe it or not, I actually got this little quote right here from Pinterest, so it's not mine, but I was inspired from Pinterest. And it says, no matter how you feel, get up, dress up, show up, and never give up. And then guess what? Because I didn't wanna post just a flyer, I connected positive word affirmations with the wax. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and most of y'all are friends with me on Facebook, so y'all can easily take a look at this. Um, I don't really have to go over the rest of this, but you can easily take a look at this on my personal page and then see how I did this. But what I don't wanna see you guys do is take a screenshot of this whole thing, crop my name out and then make it look like y'all's, right? So make it more genuine to you. All right, so that's about it for that tonight. Let me go back over here. All right, you guys, so um, thank you all so much for catching the replay. Um, I really appreciate it. I hope you guys got a little something out of the training tonight. And until next time, I will see you all later.